I know it. Hi, this is Robin with Australian Labradoodles Midwest Connection. I am here with Ruby's litter of three puppies. <laughs> you can see they are on the move. Um, so I'm going to do my best to keep them in camera and go through them with you. Um, they are doing really well. You can see they're um, getting their sea legs. <laughs> so let me start out. Um, they're actually really doing well. So let me start out right away uh, with Dottie since she's coming over to see me. Here is Dottie. There's a nice close-up of her face. <laughs> And there she is. You can see she's growing. She's doing a great job. Ruby's doing a really good job um, taking good care of them. There is Dottie. <laughs> the other two are right there. So that was Dottie in the pink collar. Um, next I'll show you <laughs> in the purple collar. There she is. And I just sent Ruby out, so they're a little squawky because she's just right out of camera um, on the outside of the room. And they wanted to come back in. So <laughs> it's a great picture of close up of Sparky and her beautiful face. So there's Sparky. And again in the purple collar. All these puppies have it. Just a gorgeous fleece coat on them. Um, there we go. Oh, there. Alrighty, so. And then lastly. I'll show you. Hi, Bella. Why well, hear you? Boop. Here is Bella. There you are, Bella. So there's close-up of Bella's face. You can see there's got a little bit of um, wetness near their eyes. They're just teething right as they're starting to transition over to um, harder dog food and mush as they start to teeth. <laughs> All normal cells are just cute as can be. So, uh, like I said, they're progressing really nicely. There are teeth in. Um, mm -hmm. They're starting to play. Um, they're starting to... Um, <laughs> they are starting to... Um, there, so I'll clean that up. But they are um, starting to eat some, what we call, um, puppy, puppy mush. And that is Life's Abundance dog food that we... Um, wet down and then grind down into like an oatmeal. Oh, it's your good, sweetie, you're good. Sometimes they, oh, a little startle, that's okay. All of these sounds are normal as they're getting used to kind of exploring a little extra space than they're used to. And then if they separate even just a little ways away at this young age too, then they squawk to find each other. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, sitting so nice and the tail wagging. So like I said, they are... Um... Hey, honey. Hi. There are you. There we go. Oh, right here. Um, next week they'll be running around even more. You'll see, you won't really hear them squawking at all because they'll just go find each other or they'll just go get the toy that they want. I know it. Again, um, about three, three and a half weeks old. Progressing well. Um, crate visits um, will be coming up at six weeks and then they go home at eight weeks. So um, we're just tooling right along. <laughs> If you do have any questions about this 
about our um, upcoming um, letter to get on the wait list. And feel free to talk to um, to contact Trish. Aww. And let me get Sparky back in by everyone else and show. There you go, sweetie. So sorry about the camera angles. There you go. There now they're all happy. Um feel free to contact Trish. We do have quite a few letters coming down the road. Otherwise, have a wonderful day. Aww. There you go, sweetie. <laughs>